Hello, folks. This is Senile Sarge. Today, we're going to jump back into Lens Island. Uh, really, we're going to be talking a little bit about money today because as you play the game, you're going to realize you need coin and you need money. Uh, so that coin is going to buy you various things. One of the probably the most important things that you're going to want is to increase your backpack, as you can see here. So this always costs, I think, the first time you upgrade is 150, then it goes to 200, so forth and so on. So this is going to be important for you to have. The other thing that you're going to be able to do inside of many of these places that you're going to visit. So we'll look at like Festive Franks here. You actually have the ability to buy, you know, blueprints. And those blueprints, as you can tell over here, are gold as well. So what we really need to do is we need to figure out what things can we be selling and what can you set yourself up for success when you first start the game and you come in. Okay, so first let's look at the blacksmith. So the blacksmith is pretty easy. So you've got your parts here that you can sell. You can see that that's only about two. You're only going to get about two gold per, right? Um, well, I guess I guess there's five of them, so that's not very much. And then you've got coal that you're going to sell too. So that that's not very good money for what you're actually going to be uh, putting out. And you're not going to find that stuff very easily. Okay, so let's go. On. What about seeds and plants, which you can actually get those pretty early game. So let's look at them real quick and see what that looks like. So we've got so bananas five. You can sell for four watermelons, five for five. You got pumpkins, five for five. Okay, blueberries, which you'll see a decent amount of blueberries. You can get those. So that, that's some decent money. And then, of course, seeds. You have the ability to get seeds. Looks like these are about 15 for five. Okay. Uh, the other thing we want to look at is we'll look at, let's look at some of this stuff over here. We've got clay is 10, 10 clay for, for one gold. Rocks is 10 rock for one gold wood you can't sell at all and then we've got some glass as well okay well let's look at the final thing which is fishing all right for those looking for the fishing area it's going to be up here towards this uh this top area so there's uh the town down here and then that's where the fishing's at so if we go in here we're going to see something that's actually pretty interesting so you've got one swordfish is eight we've got let's go over here and look at these we've got the fugi so this is nine We've got the uh, raw angler is 30. We've got the bluegill is only one. And then we've got the rainbow trout sells for 10. So I, you know, my recommendation based off of everything. So these, these right here, these raw angler, I'll put a little thing back here in the background. You can actually get these in a dungeon. You'll see the area. It'll be kind of highlighted. It'll so it'll be glow in the dark in the water. You can fish there. I've went there twice and, and caught fish. So I think that that's probably a pretty good area. And the fact that you're going to get 30 gold from one fish is actually pretty good so my recommendation for those that are starting the game the, the best way right now that i've seen to make money is to fish uh, the bottom line is for seeds and for everything else you're going to do you're going to have to go out pretty much endlessly and uh you know be gathering those resources fishing for the most part it, depending on where you put your base up you're going to find fishing locations near your base that you can just jump on and uh and go fishing which I find pretty good and it's actually pretty nice. So if I look at what I have right now from fish, this is after yesterday's probably spending about a good uh, 10 minutes fishing. We've got, I mean, a decent amount of fish. So we probably have two to 300 worth of gold right here and just fish. Now I'm not telling you not to get seeds and, and stuff like that. You're gonna need that. I mean, that's obviously food and it's gonna be stuff that you're gonna need to consume. And at some point your farm will be big enough that it'll probably bring in more money than your than actual fishing because then it's way easier right then you go out come back and then you have everything all right well i hope this helps you guys uh, you know like i said gold's an important part of what you're going to be doing inside of the game if you have any questions or any comments uh, please do me a favor post them below uh, and as always appreciate you guys watching the video we'll see you on the next one the senile sarge signing off